Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today we're going to be doing the community event, and I just want to say sorry there hasn't been very many videos lately because I've been super busy at work and with life and stuff like that, so sorry there's been, not been a lot of videos, but the community event is here. The weekend event is here, so let's go get on it. Now, the like always, you can tell that there's a weekend event because that cool like teal or greenish uh, box at the top of the Nexus. So let's go over here and see what it is. Oh, we're going to get a, an ion battery, 10 of them, and our Quicksilver, of course. So let's do it. Now, before we jump into it, I believe we're at Tier 1. Oh, it just it kills all of your... Oh, wait a minute. I'm not paying attention. Here you go. Say so we should have our community research mission right here. So we have Tier 1 unlocked, but we still have Tier 2 and Tier 3 for this week. So let's check out what our, our items are for this week. And they're going to change on Monday, so keep that in mind. They're not going to change, but we'll add more on Monday. But for this weekend... Oh, look, at we have a plant. So we have a bush, an umbrella tree, an entwining tree. Got it. And we already got our uh, banners from last week. So yeah, and these are pretty cheap. 500 Quicksilver is pretty doable. No, what you really want is that void egg. Look at that. Still 3,000. I thought they would have load, lowered the price by now, but I guess not. I think it's going to stick around at uh, 3,200 Quicksilver, so you got to save up for that. Anyway, as with all uh, weekend event missions, we have to go gather some knowledge from Knowledge Stone. So let's go do that real fast. Let's get in here. Yo, look at that beautiful living ship. Oh, man. Thing looks so cool. And I'm still trying to get upgrades for it, so... Oh, hopefully soon I can get all the upgrades. So where, which planet are we going to? The red one right below me? Come on. Please. Give it a second to load up. Knowledge stones. Yep, I think it's marked right here. Yes, perfect. So we have knowledge stones here. So all we have to do is break the atmosphere... And then we can go find some uh, knowledge stones. But what I usually try to do is I use maps to find a, an alien monolith. I think we're going to land on this one right here. Entering atmosphere. Knowledge stones detected. So let's get in here. Oh, we have a storm, of course. That's okay. I, I always try to land on the planet because then your map will work better. Let's go to our map now. You want to use the purple one where it's uh, searching for an ancient artifact site. That's the one you want to use. Got it. Oh, what is it? An ancient ruin? I'll take that. Not not ideal. You want to look for a monolith, but an ancient ruin will still have uh, knowledge stones on it. Whoa, crash into some uh, trees on the way. But let's go. Oh, man, half an hour. Okay, we got to go in the atmosphere. That way we can go a little faster. Now, the reason I do that is because you can use your pulse drive when you're outside of the atmosphere. So let's go. Nice, beautiful. Storm is clearing. Oh, this is a lot of water over here. Uh oh. Hopefully, this ancient uh, ruin is above the water. It's on land somewhere. Hopefully, because it's going to be kind of hard to find knowledge stones underwater. Uh oh. Oh, it does. It looks like it. Oh. So usually there's two. Oh, there's three. Oh, thank God there's three. So, whew, got lucky on this one. Might be because there's an ocean around it. So, thankfully they gave us three. So let's hit this one. 
Uh, it's always the same, like, five different, like, uh, flavor texts that they have. So that's okay. You don't really... If you want to read it, you can pause it. But, I mean, I've read those over and over for the past couple of months now. So that's one. Up. Oh. What about the... Up oh, there is my other stone right there. One, two, right here. There should be another one on the other side of this. Right there, three. So we got all three, so now they're going to mark out our uh, amazing portal for us. Let's see where that's going to be. Hopefully close by, but who knows. Portal detected. Off planet. So it's marking a planet, uh, another portal on a different planet. Okay. So we gotta, we're gonna be traveling a good distance. So let's get out of the atmosphere so we can use our uh, pulse drive. And let's go after it. Oh, nice! This is my metallic, uh, my metallic planet in this system. I love it. So yeah, you guys get to see some hexagon bushes and stuff. Oh, crash into him, too. So there's my portal. Let's land. Yeah, crush that. Look at that. I love... Hexagon uh, planets are pretty awesome. My metallic planets are pretty awesome. Look at that. Rolandy. All right, so we have to input those uh, portal coordinates that we got from the Knowledge Stone. So let's do that real fast. Enter the glyph sequence, yes. There it is, so I will see you guys on the other side with the community planet. Oh, Captain Steve! Wow! You guys, if you haven't seen Captain Steve's channel, he's awesome, but they named the planet after you. Captain Steve, there you go. That is awesome, man. That is so cool. Captain Steve. So let's go after the disturbance on Captain Steve. Up, oh, it's over here, probably with all the other bases. Yep. Always. There's always generally, well, at least on PC, there's places all over the place. Right next to the disturbance. Oh, it's going to be a while before we get over there. That's actually a far distance, so in the atmosphere we go. Perfect. Yeah, we are feeling that weather. Vicky support point. I wonder. Okay, let's see what the distress beacon. Let's see what material we need this weekend. This crash site is deeply unsettling. There are no signs of crew, alive or otherwise. Yet from somewhere, a voice cries out. The signal weak. Sure, I am still myself. Signature is identical. And run the crash, a dark energy... Issues a plea. Reality is shattered here. The planet is unstable. Certain materials could help repair it. Oh, we need Albium Pearls. Okay. We don't have any right now. But I bet you people are going to have them, like right over here. Let's see. Storage containers. A lot of storage containers in here. But not what I'm looking for. That's okay. We are looking for a little um, living plants or humming eggs. Well, let's see. Maybe we can get up here. Oh, wait a minute. Duh. There's an Albion Pearl. I'm walking by all these Albion Pearls right here. Boom. These little plants. 
Now, these are living plants that you can grab them from. But you can farm these too. Like, once you've gotten far enough in the base building missions, they will actually let you farm the stuff. Oh, wait, I have enough. Don't, yeah, don't take all of it. Don't be greedy. And these plants will grow back. You see how they're smaller right there? They will grow back, but they take a while. They take two hours to grow back. So just keep that in mind. So don't be greedy. Leave it for someone else to come get to. Look at this little, uh... Crashed ship. I like it. Wonder, can we pick this up? Oh, nope. It's the crashed ship. Okay, so... It's part of the uh, mission. You won't be able to do it. I remember we ran into that really cool ship last time and we couldn't use it because it's part of the mission. But we have enough Albion Pearls, so let's turn this baby in. Easy peasy. So, if you haven't actually, if there's no uh, base nearby you, like if you're playing on a console and bases aren't nearby you, what you're looking for is a yellow... Uh, Square that's tilted like that But you want to have three dashes in it Like that over there you see that humming sack that's what you're looking for Let's get over there Now they're uh, mostly underground you'll find a lot of them underground I should say uh, these humming sacks right here you open them up and they have an Albion Pearl in the middle of it. So that's what you're going to be looking for if there's no, like, farm that's close by the base. But I would check people's bases. Because they might have cool little, they might be growing Albion Pearls. And that'll make it a lot easier to do. So let's go over here. And let's go back home and turn this baby in. I'll see you guys when we get there. So we made it back to the Nexus, or back to the Space Anomaly. So we could turn our mission back into the Nexus, with, which is the name of that cube over there. Go over, yeah, Rainbow Trails, I love it. So let's turn this thing in. Complete the mission. Yeah, got our battery, got our Quicksilver. So while we're here, I'm going to buy the plant. And these are going to be your base decorations. So a writhing bush. And you're not buying one. You're buying the ability to build it everywhere. So once you buy the recipe or the blueprint, you can build them all over the place. So don't think that you can only build one at a time. You can build as many as you want, but you can only build it on your base. So you have to claim a base in order to use it. So hopefully you guys like the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time. I'll see you guys next time.